everybody, Courtney here, Smitty's Fly Box, and we're going to be going over our beginner fly tying box for the month of July, and that is the staple pattern, the Frenchie, a very popular uh, nymph pattern um, developed by Lance Egan. It's just a great little pheasant tail variation with a little hot spot on it. Great little fly to learn how to tie, even better to fish. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into it and get started. I'm just going to start my red dot thread here just behind my bead. Um, what you got in the box would have been a size 14 nymph hook and then a 2.8 tungsten uh, copper bead. I'm just going to start by just wrapping here, just kind of around that thorax area. And then I'm going to bring my thread back to our tie-in point, which is just going to be basically above the barb of the hook. We're going to tie in our tail. Uh, this fly is so versatile. It's I mean, you can tie it in a lot of different colors with different pheasant tail colors, different dubbings, different bead colors. Uh, just all around just can be adapt so adaptable for you. Um, and it's a great little dropper pattern for the summertime, just swinging it off the back of a, a hopper or something. So I've just cut out just a little clump of pheasant tail here. I like mine to be a little sparse, so I don't have a ton there. And I'm just going to measure this to be about half the length of the hook. So I just hold that up there so those tips just extend about halfway. And then I'll transfer that to my left hand. Just do a loose gathering wrap, and that'll kind of help pull that. As you start to come down the other side, you can basically watch that pheasant tail come up on top of the hook. It's just a little long for my liking, so I'm just going to pull those in just a little bit. Not super critical, though. I'm going to go ahead and wrap forward now and just wrap this pheasant tail into the body of the fly. I'm going to come right up here behind the bead and then I'm just going to fold this back over. All I'm doing here is just going to help build just a natural taper with the fly in that thorax area. I want that thorax area just to be a little thicker than the abdomen. And then from here we're just going to take some small copper wire and I'll just duck that little tag end up under the bead. And I'll wrap back and I keep that wire just to the side of the fly. We'll wrap back to our tying point just here where we got our tail secured and tied in. So now I've got another clump of pheasant tail that I've cut um, off the stem here. And I'm going to go ahead and trim these tips of this just to make everything equal. Sometimes you'll get a short uh, fiber in there that'll be back here. So when you tie it in, it just doesn't wrap into the body. So I like to come back here, cut them all so they're even. So I know I'm getting all of the pheasant tail fibers that I pulled off the stem. And this is pretty sparse. This might be six or seven of these fibers. I'm going to tie them in just right against the side of the hook. And you also want to be careful. Pheasant tail is pretty brittle, so pulling hard can be kind of detrimental to you if, you'll, if those all end up breaking. And now from here, I can just start wrapping this forward. I'm going to use the rotary function on my vise. So what I like to do here is just hold that pheasant tail up with my thumb and index finger. With my ring finger, I just pull my thread slightly forward, and then I can just start twisting this up. You can do the old traditional way, wrapping it overhand. This is a little quicker. I just angle that pheasant tail so it just is at a nice angle, so it's getting good coverage all the way up the hook shank. And then I'll bring my thread up and over. Wrap that down, and then we'll cut out our excess pheasant tail. And now it's time for the wire. The wire, I'm going to counter wrap this. And I'm just going to make sure that as I counter wrap it, I just get even spacing. So the thing I love about the Frenchie is it's such a simple pattern. And like I said, you can adapt it to a bunch of different colors or situations that you're in. You can go smaller or larger on the hook size, different colors of beads. But the thing I really like about it is it is a simple fly, but it teaches you the basics of fly tying, just proportions, how to space this wire out, how to get the right amount of pheasant tail, and the dubbing here at the end. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this wire off. So if you practice this enough, you'll start to see as a beginner, how much all of this correlates into the more complex patterns that we tie. And in reality, a lot of those complex patterns, you just don't really necessarily need all the time. You can just fish something just as simple as this, a woolly bugger, elk hair caddis. Those are just simple flies that are just 
really good effective patterns. Okay, and then this is where uh, this kind of makes the fly here just stand out from your traditional pheasant tail. We're just gonna take a little bit of this um, diamond dub here. This is just pink diamond dub. And I'm gonna go very sparse on this. I don't like a thick dubbing collar on these. These are, I, I typically use these in a Euro rig. So if I'm Euro nymphing, this will be like my tag fly. And I don't want it to be super bulky. So I'm gonna have a pretty sparse little dubbing collar here. So very minimal. And then we're just gonna finish off the fly just by wrapping here right behind the bead. And we'll build up a little bit of a red collar. Like that. And then we can whip finish. And there you have it. There is the Frenchie. Just a great little overall pheasant tail pattern. Works all year round. You can, again, adapt it to a bunch of colors. So type a bunch of these. Let us know how you do with it. And get out and fish.